hope you guys slept well and that you guys are having a great day so far. Um, before we even start into this vlog, can we just take a moment to appreciate these amazing leggings? They are flying pigs. How adorable is that? Thank you, Lularoo. Um, but anyways, um, in about five minutes or so, we are leaving to go to my infusion appointment for the lupus. Um, so I take monthly um, infusions for my lupus called Benlista. And this is number five. Um, thankfully, it has help my lupus be under control, my ANA is controlled, I guess my inflammation um, markers are under control, so that's good. We're going to continue on with this since everything is under control with my lupus. So all we need is my lupus to start acting up as well. Um, so um, I messaged my doctor, my neurologist last night, um, just talking about the pick line and we are um, just, I just did some research and I was just wondering if maybe a port may be more suitable for me. Um, yes, it's more of an invasive surgery and it's also, um, more long term. Um, but with the pick line, here, so this is the, the reasonings I brought up possibly getting a port versus a pick. So with the Benlista, it, it lowers my immune system and it, um, so your increased um, risk for infections. And with the PIC line versus the port, so the PIC, you're at an increased risk for infections as well. And so between the risk of getting infections with the PIC line and the lowered immune system with the Benlista and my lupus, that's a little bit of a concern. Also, um... Every, so I, I'm doing the bin list long term, so this is going to be something I'm going to be doing long term. Um, and every time, each and every time one of my veins is accessed, it's getting more painful, the pain is lasting longer, and I'm getting neuropathy type pain that, um, lasts a while after I get my vein accessed. Um, and so instead of always being accessed through intravenously through a vein for my infusions and whatnot, it would be kind of nice to just not have to deal with that and my veins getting, I feel like my veins are getting, I don't know the word I'm looking for, tired, um, more sensitive, um, and, um, I didn't bring this part up, but, uh, if we do decide to do saline infusions long term to treat my POTS, um, it would be nice to have a port versus a pick line. Um, I'm sure she's going to want to just do the pick line. Um, generally doctors want to do the pick line before the port to see if the infusions even are, um, something that's going to help. Um, but, yeah, so I just brought it up. Um, so, but today when I'm at my infusion, I'm going to say, can I get the, because they don't normally do the whole bag of saline, I'm going to ask for the whole bag of saline, um, since, um, I need the fluids, so, and that's what they did last time anyways, so, but, so that is what is going on right now, um, so I'm going to. Put Nina in her room and turn the heat on for her. Good morning, Nina. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Andrew's come up the stairs and we're gonna get going. See you in a little bit. So it is always awkward yeah. vlogging and talking to the camera when other people are around, but this is just me getting my infusion done. Um, doing the saline, Benlissa, Decadron, and Benadryl. I am home from my infusion, um, so, um, sorry, I feel really loopy, um, 
So we decided that we we're going to do more saline than normal. So she uh, contacted my doctor and asked if we can increase my saline. And he said that he agrees. Um, um, lay down, dog, please. Ow. Lay down. Lay down. Um, so we did, usually we just do the pre-dosing and then we do, um, been less than saline flush afterwards, but we started with saline, then we did the pre-dosing of the Decadron, and then the Ben Lista, and then we did the, uh, Ben, so it was saline, Decadron, Benadryl, then Ben Lista, and then once the Ben Lista was done, we infused for about, I think 500, something like that, anyways, um, um, so, but, uh, I always get weird symptoms whenever, I pull, uh, whenever my, um, veins are accessed. Like, today, I had, like, burning, like, it felt like it was burning right here, so she checked my IV to make sure it was in there good, and it was, so she just ended up putting a hot pack on it. Um... So, um, I'm going to lay here for a little bit and do, and I <coughs> am going to take Liam and we're going to go look at another van at the same place, um, just to look at it, um, and it's, it's the same exact van, I think it's a year older, but, uh, less miles, and I think it's got the same packages, package, and, in, um, the interior, so we're going to look at that, um, so... I'm going to try and get a little rest before, um, before we go, so I'll talk to you guys in a while. Oh, another thing, and so I was talking to my nurse about the stuff that was going on, my infusion nurse, and, um, I was mentioning how my neurologist wants me to get a pick line. And, um, she, even before I mentioned that I talked to her, my doc, I sent my doctor a message about a port. She says, I think you would benefit more from a port because the Benlistas are a long-term thing. And so, obviously, she agrees that a port would work better for me. Um, so, uh, so hopefully we do a port versus a pick, um, just because it's going to be better all around. Um, and so... I just figured I'd share that little tidbit of information. <laughs> so yes, it is the next day. Um, I didn't do a closing video because, a closing clip, because we are spending some time with Liam last night. Um, he's just been feeling the effects of us with Andrew in the van and me feeling sick. Um, I'll get more into it in tomorrow's video, um, but I just wanted to say good night. I hope you guys slept well. <coughs> um, if you could, I'd appreciate it. Um, just click on this butterfly to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in yesterday's video, go ahead and click this box here. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Good night.